happiness and welcome welcome back if you're some of my subscribers or if you're coming over from uh, Carl Morosky's channel wanting to see more of the gaucho boots welcome and happiness this is the YouTube channel of the happiness carpenter we talk about boots and peace and love and that's what we do here um, this is kind of like a follow-up to uh, Carl's video on the um, gaucho boot brand from Argentina that's Argentina South America uh, you uh, if, if you're here you probably saw the video with the beautiful and talented Eugenia and Carl that was just released a few days ago and they had the crazy cool Tierra boot that they had right there in their hands which uh, Tierra meaning the earth or the, the ground of the earth the soil what's under our feet you know when we're walking in the woods and the mountains and the that earth that good earth that rich earth the tierra and so that is just a really cool boot i love the bump toe style if every boot i had had bump toe i wouldn't be opposed to that but they did not have the first release of gaucho boots the marcha the marcha boot marcha meaning you know marching like a soldier you know he marches or, or you march um and I got this, I don't know, it's been a while ago, over a year or so ago, and I wanted to do a video on it, and Eugenia wasn't really ready to be introduced, and Carl did that. Carl introduced her to the world and did a great job, and I'm glad that he did it, um, because it brings something that's been in my heart, in my mind, this amazing young bootmaker from Argentina uh, into the limelight and into the world of boots. Uh, the reason many of you have seen me do a few videos on... Uh, Gabbard's creosote nail shank boot and uh, that was because of Carl because what before I was doing this I was watching Carl's videos and watched that I think he had a video is a boot worth a thousand dollars well it wasn't quite a thousand dollars at that time I think the creosote boots were only nine hundred dollars back then and um, uh, that's why I ended up getting it and I'm glad that I did because they're over double the price now but they are, the, the thing about Gabbard, and I've talked about him before, is the creosote boots are a work of art. And he is an artist, if nothing else, Gabbard is an artist. And so she has cited Gabbard and creosote as one of her inspirations. And uh, she is definitely inspired and definitely motivated. And her designs are crazy cool. And so I want to show you this. Uh, I, I, I introduced it to some of, my, some of my viewers. I would tell them it was the happiness carpenter boot what I did I kind of maybe stupidly took off that pocket and put my happiness carpenter patch on there and so it's these boots the one has the knife pocket the other one had the they're both from the um, Argentinian army antique gun fajo or holster and um, had them on both sides and so you kind of got to have your pants rolled up in order to use this stuff anyway and so I decided to put that happiness carpenter patch on there for my uh, launch of my happiness carpenter patch and it replaced the the um, the pocket but it they do have the pocket they do come um, uh, gusseted or non gusseted I I chose to have mine gusseted because uh, you know these are the bottom of these boots are like their tanks I I think they're more heavy-duty than my Knicks urban loggers um, everything's hand stitched there and she was talking about, you know, she was uh, designing women's boots and or women's shoes and tinnies and stuff like that. And she wanted to do a work boot. And that's why she started getting into this. And, uh, you know, Carl was saying, well, they're kind of for collectors and everything. This one here is <laughs> like the apocalypse boot. I'm telling you, this is a heavy duty boot. Uh, I'm going to show you some aspects of this boot. Uh, I've been wearing them. I probably have five or six wears in them. Uh, maybe more, but they are comfortable right out of the box and um, I just wanted to you saw the Tierra boot and so I wanted to help out Carl and Eugenia and Gaucho boots and and show you these in hand and talk a little bit about them Just to kind of complete and complement the video that Carl did. So here is the Marcha boot it is um, a very soft and black supple leather I know that she said that this is not fiberboard, this is leather uh, uh, inside the heel there. But the, the front, the whole vamp is a rough out. And then she's kind of done a, a little waxing. 
think beeswax and some other items on the front. But look at that. Look at the toe box. I was wearing them yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, Red Wing and Other Boots for Work and Fashion, my um, uh, Facebook group, that's Red Wing and Other Boots. These are the other boots for Work and Fashion. And um, the toe box is so cool, man. If you're looking for a wider toe box, this is the thing. My wife has this tiny little car. I was driving her shopping yesterday. It's a Ford EcoSport. And it doesn't have the clutch, but it's got the, you know, uh, in a car you would have the clutch, the brake, and the gas. But it's as if it had a clutch because the, the, the brake and the gas are pretty close together. And with that wide toe box, i got to be careful I'm not pressing both pedals at once. So it does have ample room in the toe. It doesn't feel super tight. It is made to my foot measurements, but it fits me so nicely and so comfortably. And there's no slip. And um, that is the Marcha boot. That um, knife sheath that's on there, what I did is, and if you watch the other video where I kind of talked about these, I have this old case knife that um, my dad found on the beach in the early 70s in Santa Cruz and gave it to me later on in life. And I, it's, it's these case knives have a hole right there. I guess that's what it's for, like a leather lanyard or something. So um, this was part of the old Argentinian soldier holster there. And so what I did is I slide my knife in and then I just put a knot that just like a, it's like a single knot, but it's just barely a little bit bigger than that. And I just press it through there and it's like, it, it will not come out of there unless I take it out. And it was so funny because my wife was opening something in the car yesterday. She goes, you got a knife? I'm like, no, I'm not working. I don't have a knife on me. And then I'm like, Bleh. so it's great because I had a knife. Um, but so there's that sheath. And if you look at it, let me, let me show you. She kind of personalized this a little bit. Um, she's so good. I know she wrote a message to me that I may never see, um, when she was lasting it, uh, on the backside of the insole. But if you can see, it's kind of stamp happiness right there, right? Um, right below that mechanism, that metal mechanism. And, um, I, I love these boots and I would love to take these boots in the mountains. And I, man, this would be all that you need as far as footwear. If you were just climbing mountains or whatever, she loves Vibram. She said yesterday, look at that thing, man. That thing is gorgeous. You know what? I got to get a tape measure and tell you how tall that is. Let me see what I got. Okay. Antique tape measure. Okay. Look at this. This is a crescent. Like your crescent wrenches. This was my grandfather's. <laughs> and then it's got a little button. Okay. So from the ground up on my antique tape measure, these are 12 inch. The metal measure from the top of the heel, it's almost 10, like nine and seven eighths. But from the ground up, this is a 10 inch boot right there. Look at that. That's an antique. Um, and the bottom, she's got the Vibram Lug 100 sole. And um, look at the screws and everything. This is a collector's boot. I'm a collector. You know, I'm a collector. I don't got so many boots. I never wear them out. Well, why do you wear them? I do wear them. I just don't have four or five pairs of boots. I got so many that um, I don't wear them too much. But these things here, these, if they're not a work boot, they're an apocalypse. They're the end of the world boot. They're the mountain climbing boot. They are what you need on your feet if you're going to go have a rugged lifestyle somewhere. <laughs> It'll pull loop there. Just the right size for my finger. Some of them, like I said, can't get my thumb and my finger in there. That, that's no good. Um, or if it's just a little tiny tab. Um, if they do a bigger tab, like I showed you on some of my boots, it's too, it looks too dro droopy. But I like this one right here. And um, they just pop right. My heel pops right in there. That's the March of Boot by Gaucho Boots by Eugenia. And she is a fantastic artist like Gabard. That's what I was uh, alluding to earlier. This is art for her, man. And, but it does not mean that it's not built well. It does not mean that it's not built like a work boot. This thing is bottomed like no other boot you've ever seen. I, look at the, that's that stitch by hand and everything. Look at that. 
it's going into a groove in there the upper leather it's not stitched down huh? and it's not a good year welt that's the old way okay here's the other boot of course the happiness carpenter patch is still available for ten dollars shipped to you any other anywhere in the world it's like three and a quarter by four and a quarter if you want to have in this carpenter patch i still have the shirt too uh if you can see that in other videos i'll have the shirt on maybe next video sorry if you don't like the patch on there that's my boot i made them mine and that's the beauty of things we make them ours we patina them or whatever just look at the shape of that boot that is a gorgeous boot i put some moss green uh, paracord laces in there that I that I made she has a website gaucho boots this one's still on there the tiara's on there now those are her two models um, this one is a heavy-duty marching boot climbing hiking climbing working whatever kind of boot has a big toe box big square toe look at that that's a little bit different than the square toe on creosote. Um, the, on creosote, it's got a, a real flat top on there. He he kind of tapers it this way, squares it off, and it's flat on top. But this is such, she, you know, she makes her own lass. And that is such a cool lass, man. If you like toe room, toe wiggle room, without your whole foot moving around in the boot, this is the boot for you. It's just gorgeous. I can't say enough about it. Eugenia, thank you for making this boot and, and for making it with love. I know that you did. Carl, thank you for um, uh, letting me mention you in this video. Uh, these are not Carl's opinions or Eugenia's for that matter and is completely subjective by the Carpenter of Happiness, what I think and what I feel. And as always, much love from the Carpenter's office. And uh, please, uh, every day, please love and respect yourself you know, you can be selfish. In other words, you can just do stuff for yourself and not think of other people. But that's a little bit different, different than loving yourself. If you love yourself, you're going to care for yourself. You're going to respect yourself. You're going to respect other people. And we've talked about this before. So please, love yourself, care for yourself. We need good people here on the earth. And we need people that embrace change and also embrace tradition. And so this is exactly what Eugenia is doing. She's embracing art and change and, 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 and she's motivated to make new designs the old way. Thank you, Eugenia. Thank you, Carl. Happiness and love from the Carpenter's Office.